Hello everybody, and I, before I get started in this video, I would like to thank you all so very much for following my channel and subscribing to my content. And I'm really excited to introduce to you a whole new phase of my YouTube channel, which is going to be where I start working on the studio. Uh, as of tomorrow, I am going, as of making this video, I'm going to start uh, on a journey of a three week long trip where we travel all the way across the United States and back, picking up all kinds of musical equipment and other things related to the beginnings of Milan Recording Studios. We're going to be stopping off in Southern California to pick up a Hammond B3 organ. We're going to go to Texas to pick up a specialty trailer that we're going to use to move elect uh, music equipment and other stuff that we have around the house for the move. We're going to go to Miami, Florida and get some cool stuff. And we're also going to go to Elkhart, Indiana to visit the Musser factory, which is where they make marimbas and other orchestral instruments. Usually those type of things would go to orchestras, symphonies, and uh, universities, but we've actually been able to uh, make arrangements with Musser to be able to buy a beautiful concert grand marimba for ourselves. And so we're definitely going to have videos on all of that coming up in the future. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for uh, awesome content. And if you think anyone else that you know would be interested in recording studio stuff, let them know about my channel too. It would be really helpful. And uh, so since I'm going to be on a trip, I'm not really going to be able to respond to comments and stuff as regularly as I usually do, but I will still have videos coming out. And uh, this, this is probably going to be the first, one of the first videos about studio things. And today we have something that is rather interesting and hopefully you guys will find it uh, important and helpful. Today's video is going to be all about how to move heavy equipment, and that might sound like an obvious answer. Use a dolly. But there's lots of different alternatives. There's furniture dollies, there's piano dollies, and there's a special type of dolly I'm going to be talking about today that we recently purchased. Uh, what we have here today that we're going to be moving is a uh, antique cabinet from around the 1930s, maybe the 1940s. We actually have three of these. Two of them are this size, and then we also have a third that is slightly larger, and it's a different size. And so we're going to be uh, refinishing these, repainting them, and using them in the studio to store all kinds of equipment. There's a lot of space inside of here. Uh, you've got these two big doors and a bunch of drawers down here that will be great for storing microphones and all kinds of stuff, cables, all sorts of things. So it's going to be really great. But they weigh a lot more than they look. If you look at them, you, the wood looks rather thin and stuff, but they weigh a lot. Uh, there's the inside for you. And, uh, the, the sides and the back are made of redwood. I'm not sure what the rest of it is. They were all handmade and they're pretty cool. But like I said, they're a bit heavier than you might think they were. So, how would you move them? Well, traditionally we would go for something such as this, which is a piano dolly. Uh, since we're piano people, we use these a lot. They're great for moving the pianos. These wheels only roll in two directions, forwards and backwards. They do not swivel like on a, uh, on a furniture dolly. So when you want to change directions, you pick up one end of the piano and then you can change it in whatever direction you want. But these things are really, really heavy, and they're not as even easy to move as a piano, because a piano has kind of built-in handles. There's one on the back, and then you can grab under the keyboard for an upright piano. So we found out about this really cool uh, type of dolly called a roller carry, which is used traditionally for moving uh, organs, such as the Hammond B3 and other similar uh, organs. So we were able to find a roller carry uh, dolly on eBay, and we thought it would be a great idea to put it to use for this purpose, because honestly, it worked out great. So let's show you how that works. Alright, so here is a, uh, a close-up of the logo. As you can see, it's called Roller Carry Model P6B, manufactured by Enric Company from Zombroda, Minnesota. And so I just thought I'd show you that. So that's what the logo looks like, so that you'll know. The first step to using the Roller Carry is you're going to want to lift up one end of whatever you're trying to move, an organ cabinet, what, whatever it may be, and slide this lip under. And uh, what's nice about it is you don't have to lift it up very high, because this lip isn't all that thick. Then the next step is once you have both ends of the dolly, because there's two halves of this, underneath your equipment, you're going to want to take these straps, and there's four of them that come with the, uh, the dolly. And there's little uh, like loops here that you would want to... Here's the loop, and then it goes over this little bar here. And so on one end you have the loop, and on the other end you just have like a bare metal end. So you take the loop end, and you put it over one side of the dolly. It'll become very obvious which end is which. And then you take it, and you loop it all the way around your equipment like so. There's a jumping spider there, you might get squished. Then you have on the other side you have a latch which will go like this and will latch in place when it's closed. So you're going to want to lift this up and open the latch so that it's like this. Then you take the end of the strap that's just the bare metal end, you put it in like so and I'm just going to pull it tight like that. Then it goes around the back here and then through these two posts 
like so. And then it goes back in the direction of the other dolly, like so. Then what you're going to want to do is pull it tight, pull it, take this end of it and pull it that way so it becomes tight, and then do that. And then now there's plenty of tension on that. And then you're going to want to do that for all four of these straps. There's one down here as well, and then there's two on the other side. So once you get all that done, your dolly is now secured. Because this unit is like brand new, all the mechanisms such as the, the, uh, the hinges for the handles as well as the mechanism for raising and lowering the wheels are kind of sticky. But now we're going to be talking about raising and lowering the wheels. There are two modes for uh, wheel position. You have the wheels up mode and the wheels down mode. Right now it's in wheels up mode, but what you do to lower the wheels to be able to roll your equipment around is to take that handle which is right there and to lower it towards the ground which will put the wheels down on the ground and lift your equipment up. And that is how it works. It is quite simple. The other cool thing about the roller carry is that it has these nice handles which are here and there's two sets of these. Well, there's one set on either side of them, of the, the dolly. And so you have these really nice high quality handles that you're able to pick up the unit and lift it or you can just use it to roll the equipment around, which is really handy. So um, for the last thing here on the roller carry uh, dolly video, I just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to move something that's incredibly heavy. I'm physically not able to pick this thing up, so moving it over just a few feet would be pretty much impossible for me to do. But with the roller carry dolly, it's as easy as this. So as you can see, moving something like a heavy cabinet, a heavy piano, or a heavy organ, something like that, is going to be made very, very simple with the roller carry dollies. I hope you found this video interesting and informative, and uh, make sure to stay tuned for all kinds of really fun content on my channel. I'm still going to be doing the piano videos like before, and uh, but I'm also going to be doing all kinds of really cool stuff about the studio. And like I said before, I'm going to be a little bit uh, less active in the comments section, but feel free to leave comments. I love reading them, and they're awesome. And uh, so make sure to stay tuned for all kinds of cool studio and music-related videos coming out in the future. I'll see you in the next video.